I wonder if you'd be willing to have a chat about your policies and um, what you're standing for. Yes. Excellent. Uh, well, I'm Richard Taylor. I, I did write to you a couple of um, weeks right. ago, and uh, you refused to correspond with me. So I'm just wondering, so why would you not correspond with um, someone who's trying to find out about your policies? Are you recording this? I am recording this, yes. yes. You can talk to yourself, right? So what does he mean when he says that he'll focus on antisocial behaviour? Around the county I've seen antisocial behaviour interpreted in all sorts of different ways, including stopping simply youths gathering on, on green spaces. And I'm very concerned that what we'll see is young people criminalised for things which are, are not illegal. Another thing I'd like to find out his policy on is setting hyper-local police priorities, for example the police priorities in North Cambridge. What he hasn't said is that he will let councillors continue to do what they do at the moment and set the local police priorities and hold the police to account for them. I'm concerned that what he wants to do is focus on engagement with groups of people, self selecting groups of people like Neighbourhood Watch, which we don't have any of in North Cambridge, and um, residents associations. I'd also like to ask Mr Bright about the staff who he's going to have in his personal office and how much that will cost. He's just said that he wants to appoint members of staff to um, be responsible for community engagement, one based in Peterborough and one in Cambridge. Uh, will that be extra staff uh, on top of the million pound a year office which the Police and Crime Commissioner will inherit from the Police Authority? I think it would also be interesting to ask Graham Bright about his views on legal highs, particularly as he was one of those um, seen on TV talking about the non-existent drug cake and encouraging people not to take it. He was duped by a TV show then. Is he now up to speed on, um, on, on such matters? And of course, what are um, Graham Bright's views at the moment on horror movies? We know that he, as an MP, campaigned to um, ban extreme horror movies um, due to, uh, he said, uh, their effect on um, people as well as dogs. Now, what are his views now? Is he standing to be our police and crime commissioner? Right, is uh, your policies on antisocial behaviour. Um, like one thing that concerns me is that... Um, is it your, but that what, what might happen is we might end up targeting young people and criminalising people who are not really doing anything wrong. Um, as I've been to a lot of these um, police priority setting meetings around the county, and there I've seen no. um, the police target things like... You just are a prima donna. You do your own thing. And I do mine. Right. And, and does that okay. include telling people about your policies now as you're um, standing... As, well, is this just a photo op this I've been morning, doing right? that myself. I don't need any help from you. But you no, carry on your own campaign and I'll carry on mine. Okay? Can I ask you about your staff? No. North Cambridge, we don't have any parish councillors. So, so will our district councillors and the county councillors still get to the two set? The local I should be parents? speaking to everyone, but not you. Okay? Not me. Because I regard, I I regard you me. as a prima donna. You set yourself up as an authority and you're not. I'm not setting myself as an authority. I'm a member of the public. I'm 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 I don't deal with people like you. Well, you're not going to vote for me anyway. Come on. You are not a floating voter. You have your own agenda. Oh, well, which is why I don't take you seriously. Don't take me seriously. I'm sorry. I will engage with the real public, not with you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.